Congratulations, you've made it to your graduation. And hopefully for the last time in your life, you're gonna get some advice on what to wear. So, how do you wear regalia? Actually, it's pretty easy to get right. But first things first, what should you wear under your gown? The ceremony is a formal event, so dress accordingly. Shirt and tie for men, and formal wear for ladies. Again, footwear should be smart, but comfortable enough to walk and stand in. Let's start with your gown. It's simple enough. Just put your arms through the sleeves. For you bachelors, the hood goes over your head with a flat oblong panel against your back. You'll probably need someone to help you position the hood by lifting the corner, placing it down against your back and folding the tip. Now this is one of the few cases where wearing a tie is an advantage. Otherwise, you may need to pin it to your robe. If you're graduating with a diploma, you'll wear a diploma scarf. A bit easier to put on, around your neck and hangs down the front. You master's graduates will have a slightly different gown where you put your arms through the slits. And a doctoral gown is pretty much the same. But in any case, don't worry too much. There will be someone there to make sure that everything is sitting just right before you cross the stage. Of course, you can wear traditional clothing or garments of honour from your culture, such as a sari, korawai or ta'ovala. Just make sure that the hood or scarf is placed over the top of it. Now this brings me to the trencher. Choose a hairstyle that allows you to wear your trencher comfortably. And when you enter the auditorium, it should be in your left hand. Natasha Badesi. Now you're ready to formally graduate. Finally, you can wear your trencher as you cross the stage. Congratulations, you've officially graduated. So, all the best with your futures. Well.